So this is a Rhino Ironworks store. This is the uh, 8240. Howdy guys. So we're getting ready to put this into this room in here. And we're on our little rollers right now. We're gonna stand it on edge and then roll it through on pipe through the doorway. All right, so now we just stood it up, just three guys, we just stood it up on edge. Now we're gonna get some pipe underneath this edge and just roll it through the house on edge through that door. It's a whole thing. All right, so now we've got it almost ready to lay down here, and uh, we're going to lay it down, stand it up into the opening. <laughs> And then we'll have one guy in there, probably be me, and uh, we'll start to anchor it once we get it in there. All right, so now we've got it stood up, just a little manpower there, and uh, we just stood it up into place. We've got some Teflon back here, so we can start to just kind of uh, milk it in or water it into position there. So we're getting closer. Our uh, rough opening was a little out of out of plumb and level, so we're fighting a little bit to get it past some framing. But after that, I think we'll be pretty good to anchor it in. These new uh, rhinos come with a uh, inside piece, so you can do a clamshell effect if you want, or clamshell uh, install. But they also have some anchoring holes in case you want it, uh, you can do both actually, but in this case the wall is 10 inches thick so it doesn't work on their um, uh, clamshell, it's just it's not built for that, it's built more for an 8 inch wall. So uh, we're going to anchor it in and then just add an extension piece, uh, kind of have it fabricated to the inside so that everything uh, will kind of look like the same frame they have on the outside, just a header and two legs on the inside. Alright, so we got it installed here. Good looking door. A little cleanup going on, but and this does have a uh, behind this panel we have an egress. So we just don't swing that door open. And then there's a panic room option where you just bend this down and then drop this. It's a little angle piece here. You just turn it and let it fall and then that'll lock you in regardless of whether the bad guys know your combination or not. And then this is your emergency release here. So just pull this back and then lower this little panel and then you can turn the, turn the handle. All right, well, we're going to clean up and get out of here, but there's a kind of a standard install on a uh, vault door.